welcome to Next Game's video showcasing the newest trust, Dr. Munbro. You can acquire him by getting 480 Deeds of Heroism. This month marks the 12th month that they have had this event, and if you have done all four deeds every month that it has been out, you will be able to get it right away this month. If not, you sadly may need to wait up to a year to get yours, depending on how many points you currently have. Now for this long wait, you would hope that they would reward us with something new and special, and they have not disappointed. Mon Bru is unlike any other trust and will fit nicely into most trust setups, either as the primary white mage or in a support role. First, let's talk about the one ability that I've seen him use. Cover. He just used it right there. An interesting ability for this white mage trust to have, to be sure. It lasts for 15 seconds. Now while under the effects of cover, he took 245 damage from a normal hit and 528 damage from a critical hit, so he's definitely not going to be able to take a lot of hits, but it does open up some interesting possibilities in the future if you choose to use him. The main thing that Mombra is good at is using potions, and that's what he'll primarily do. He will use potions when under the effects of silence, but does not appear to use them if he has amnesia on him, so keep that in mind. Also, let's just take note that we now have a White Mage Trust that has 1,853 hit points. That's 300 more than Farius Coffin. This White Mage also now has what amounts to an unlimited MP pool with endless potions that he can use. While I explain all of the different potions that he can use, let's go ahead and change our battle scenario to something more appropriate that can take use of this. Let's do Dawn on Difficult. This difficulty has some nasty AoE moves that will normally one-shot White Mage Trust. Additionally, this will show what happens when he gets amnesia and silenced. The first potion he will always use is Mix Guard Drink. If anyone in your party does not have Protect or Shell, he will use this immediately once you engage. Please note, this activates faster than White Mage's Protect and Shell spells, so when you engage, this is the drink that will be used, and White Mages won't even try to cast Protect or Shell. In testing, this showed to be have the stats equal to Protect 5 and Shell 5. The next drink he will use is his one minute drink. All of these last one minute, and he always makes sure one of them is on you. The four options he has to choose from at random are Mix Life Water, which is an AoE regen that appears to give 22 hit points per tick. Mix Samson's Strength, which is an AoE stat boost. Now the log says Vit Boost, but I show it boosting all of my stats by 10 in my testing. Mix Elemental Power is a magic attack boost that appears to be fairly potent. I hit my all-time high on a sand spell today using a magic burst of radiance on Apex Bacts where I hit for 63,000 damage with it. My previous high was only 50,000, so it does appear to be a pretty sizable boost. Mix Dragon Shield is the last one that he uses, and it's a magic defense boost that you will receive that if like the others should be fairly potent. I was sadly unable to do any testing on this one's exact potency. The rest of his potions are what I call reaction potions. He only uses them in reaction to something happening. We will start with his cure potion. Hyper potion will cure your trust for 250 hit points. He will use this when any of your trust is missing more than 250 hit points and you yourself do not need cured. I have not seen him use this on me at any point. It appears to have a 4-5 to five second recast. Max potion is the cure that he favors and he can use this on either the trust or you. He will use it any time someone drops more than 500 hit points below their maximum. It will cure you for 500 hit points and has a 3 to 4 second recast. Mix Max Potion is his maximum cure and he uses it when you are more than 700 hit points from your maximum hit point total. And the recast on this one appears to be about 5 seconds. Mix Dry Ether Concoction will restore 160 MP to whoever it's used on, and it appears to be used whenever a mage drops below 50% magic points. I have sadly been unable to nail down a recast on this ability at this time. I can say I believe it's less than 30 seconds, maybe even as low as 5. Mix Panacea will remove all erasable ailments such as Defense Down and Amnesia. Note he cannot use this if he himself is amnesiaed. There also are a few things this can't remove, such as Curse, Doom, Poison, Disease, Blindness, Silence, and Paralysis. For those, he has individual potions, such as Holy Waters for Curse and Doom, and Echo Drops for Silence. You'll see him use those during this fight. The last thing I've seen him use is Mix Dark Potion, which appears to simply be darkness damage he does to an enemy. I've seen this do 666 damage to the Apex Bact every time it's been used. It seems to be used at random, and he sadly will not MB with it. 
Note that even though he has recast on individual potions, he can spam another potion right after. He also appears to only have a one second recast on Panacea, Holy Water, and the other potions that remove ailments as he uses them over and over again to remove them from the entire party, which is nice. That's about all I've noted to share in this video. Let's just watch now and see what our new trust does in the rest of this fight. I hope you found this information on the new trust useful. I know you're going to be seeing him a lot in my videos in the future. Have a great week, everyone.